Here is a day in my life as an interior design content creator. I start my day by being woken up by my nine-year-old Phoenix, and then I brush my hair, brush my teeth, and while my older son Phoenix gets himself ready and helps pack up the backpacks, I get my little guy Lincoln ready for school, and then I pack up the lunches before we get out the door. When we get to school, Phoenix leaves us behind. He is way too cool for us, while me and my husband Chris walk with Lincoln. Then it's time for me and Chris to hit the gym. I've been working on my push-ups lately and they're still not perfect, but getting slightly better. Today was an upper body day and we kind of rushed through a bit since we got here so late in the day. After the gym, we head home and I hop on my computer to get through emails. Today I signed a contract for a new ad and sent off some images for a magazine article coming out next fall that I was pretty excited about. Then Chris brought me breakfast, which certainly doesn't happen every day, but is lovely when it does. This morning I had breakfast, tacos, yogurt, and sausage. Then it's time to get ready for the day. I did my makeup and threw some beach waves in my hair. Then I hop on Instagram stories to share about what I'll be working on today, which is the laundry room floor. I just finished painting yesterday and now it's time to seal it. I get going on that while my husband Chris works on a table build to go around the washer and dryer. He actually built this the day before, so today he's just priming and painting it. And he does have a full-time job, by the way. Today just happens to be one of his off days. Then it's back to my computer to answer any new emails that have come in. After this, we picked up the kids from school, which I totally forgot to film. But on my way home, I realized that the rest of my wallpaper for the laundry room came in, which was super exciting. Time for a break and a snack before heading to swim team for the boys, which means two hours of sitting by the pool in the hot Texas heat. But today I had my best friend with me, so it wasn't too bad. When we got home, we went on a quick bike ride before dinner and bedtime.